This morning, those wind gusts still sticking around. Unfortunately, a few more rain showers still left in the high elevations. You can kind of see the leading edge of the front here still working its way through the rest of the state. For us, though, it's gone through the day. That sunshine will come back. Clouds will clear and we're looking at a pretty nice entry into the weekend. However, the wind gusts from yesterday's front, usually they follow sort of in front of the front, but we've got wind gusts sticking with us for both today and tomorrow. Not great for fire weather. We're typically not officially ever really done till wildfire for wildfire season until we get that first snow sometimes. But we did have such a nice period of some rain over the last few weeks. It felt like we were close to being done, but unfortunately those fires have grown a little bit. Uh, at least in the last day or so with those gusty winds. So keep an eye out. If you see a new fire, call it in. We've got those gusty winds sticking with us uh, through Friday, a little break Saturday, and then Sunday we've got another week disturbance coming in just like what happened yesterday. Tuesday we could even see the same thing. So we're not going to get a break with those winds, unfortunately. But let's also talk about some hurricane winds coming up a little bit later in the show. We've got some details about hurricane health which is on its way to uh, the Gulf Coast, the southeast. Very, very strong storm headed their direction. This is just a map of hurricane strikes from 1950 to 2023. So you're looking at all the cat ones in that yellow color, cat two in that orange color, cat three in the red. I'm going to take us through cat four and cat five here just to show you how many times we get hurt. We've gotten hurricanes in the last uh, several years. Take a look at this. Just so many dotting the coast, right? We actually had hurricane force winds here in July with our big uh, storm that hit. We had 80 to 100 mile per hour winds. Last night they were hitting about 60 for reference. Today though, breezes about 10 to 20. Temperatures will be cooler today because of the front yesterday. We're looking at upper 60s in northwest Montana. A few low 60s as well, and then low 70s for Missoula down towards the Bitterroot. Over the next few days, we are going to get some high pressure moving back in. And like I talked about, another cool down comes our way on Sunday, but we do get a nice warm up towards Saturday 80s for some of us. Kalispell will only hit about 74 on your Saturday, but look at the next seven days. Not a drop of moisture in sight. Lots of sunshine, but very warm and breezy.